What if the matter is not addressed in time? How come majority of shortlisted candidates for interviews come from one clan? Was there equity in regional and clan representation? That's the question IBC is supposed to answer. How comes, number two, how comes the pre percentage of non-locals interviewed is significantly higher than the last general elections in 2017? And yet, elections are held in every ward and constituency in this country. Number three, why was the interview done in phases, the last one being one week after the first one was done? What was this being reorganized when it was post? Number four. Why does the returning officer hold meetings with one particular candidate out of the designated official working places and at odd hours? Disclaimer, that we as the people of South Mogrango and citizens of Kenya are not violent, nor do we intend to interfere with the mandate of the IBC. But we demand the following. One, that the IBC and its officers led by the returning officer of South Mogrango constituency explain to the public and all elect election stakeholders the three concerns above number two that the ibc and it is officers led by the returning officer of south mogran constituents desist forthwith from holding clandestine meetings with that particular candidate mentioned above number three that the ibc and it is officers led by the returning officer of south mogran constituents undertake in public and private verbally and in writing to the election stakeholders to conduct credible accurate transparent inclusive accountable verifiable impartial